It's the 18th of July, one of the warmest days of the year so far. It's 31 degrees Celsius and um, there's not many people at the field. Um, only George is flying, so uh, we're going to go off to Cambridge. And we're going to do some low flying along the river and uh, have a bit of cheeky fun. You're not hanging about with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we ready in like... If you're two minutes. I'll be five. I might be able to wait that long. So I got airborne on my second attempt and just dodging that plane there. Just waiting for George now to launch and then we're going to go off to Cambridge. Before we head off though, George wants to scoop up some hay and dump it on Big Z. Let's see if he can manage it. Here he goes. Almost, good effort, good effort. So the winds today are very light, coming from north about one or two miles an hour, which means we only have to do a very slight crabbing on the way over to Cambridge. And um, this is a shooting range here, just keeping way above that. And we're now arriving at Cambridge, but before we fly over Cambridge and look at the buildings, we're going to go down to Grantchester Meadows, where, because it's one of the warmest days of the year, there's loads of people with barbecues, got their boats out, people are swimming in the river, having picnics, having a great old time. So we come down low and wave to them. Everyone's waving up at us, keeping away from them, just keeping over to the side a little bit. But um, everyone's having a great old time. After spending a couple of minutes flying down the river, we decide to get some altitude and then go back towards Cambridge and uh, fly over the buildings. So we don't want to hang around too long and annoy everyone. So there's Cambridge below and the river cam. And what a lovely day to fly over Cambridge. So heading out of Cambridge, I spot this farm and uh, thought I'd just fly down and have a look at what's going on there. It seems pretty big, lots of stuff growing under there. And we're now at Water Beach, which is a disused World War II airfield. And um, it's being redeveloped at the moment, so we, we get down and have a look to see what's going on. England in this area is just littered with, with old airfields. It's just amazing how many there are. It must have cost an absolute fortune at the time to build them, but um, that one's being redeveloped now. So the sun is starting to uh, set, um, so we decide to come back. So quite quite a short flight, probably about an hour and a half, something like that. And um, that's Bourne Airfield down there. And here we are heading back to Little Granston. So we have quite a funny landing. Uh, George manages to turtle 
So if you want to see that shenanigans and have a bit of a laugh, then uh, stay tuned to the end. His jaws coming for his landing and he's turtled. You can't see it from here, but we'll get a closer shot in a minute. <laughs> How can you turtle in no wind? Special skill there. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I wanted to drop the hay on there. <laughs> I didn't put any power on. <laughs> I put some power on and then start sliding across. <laughs> make it to the um <laughs> he obviously hasn't realized he's got half a <laughs> he's got half a haystack on him Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Hold on, hold on, we've got another one coming in. Incoming. Turtle. And. Uh... Oh, is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? Yo! We have a turtle. We have a turtle. Oh. So, if you enjoyed George's turtle, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more cheeky videos like this then don't forget to subscribe and if you look at the link at the top there you can see my turtle just so that i'm not taking the mick out of george on his own you can see my turtle from last year <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>